The 13 on your side weather deck is sponsored by Montel Construction, quality made simple. Out on the weather neck now, Chief Meteorologist George Lessons. And yeah, George, people haven't been getting a whole lot of practice with a shovel this winter season. That may be changing in the morning. Ah, uh, yes, you'll wake up and you go, oh, I need to get that snow blower out. But you need that snow shovel as well, your snow brush if you've left your car out overnight. Again, just take it easy. This is going to be kind of a heavy, wet snow. It's taking a while to develop, but it is going to be here. 13 weather ball is green. No change for seen to our temperatures. It's also blinking bright for that snow in sight later on tonight. This view sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. Let's check how we did today. Forecast was 31. It made 34. That's four days in a row. We've had three misses, though, only in the past 31 days. Ireland heading out to the bus stop with her mask on and maybe her snow boots as well. A lot of snow in the morning. It's going to feel more like the teens, but the snow will end. But throughout the afternoon, there'll be some freezing drizzle. Our roads are not going to be the greatest. And if the Bosma, Bosma is going to walk Cody Bear there, very comfortable in his chair. He's king of the comforter there. Uh, I'm going to give you the red paw throughout the morning and just a yellow paw up until about 3 o'clock. Uh, temperatures will be at or below freezing. So a lot of slush on the roads, a lot of slush on the sidewalks as well. Up through today, this is our uh, second Second lowest to snowfall total. If we get about three inches or more, we're going to drop out of the top 10. Uh, we're just waiting on that snow to develop, but it is coming across Iowa, northern Illinois right now. This is where the heaviest snow is right in through here, at least reaching the ground. A little narrow uh, tongue down toward the Benton Harbor area, and that's all coming up in our direction. All of the models agreeing on how much snow we're expecting here in West Michigan. About one to three by daybreak and maybe another inch or so. They're all uh, hovering right around three to four and a half inches or so in Grand Rapids. Uh, so I think that's pretty much what we are going to see. And here's where the leading edge of the models are saying the snow is going to be developing. It's already up to I-94. It'll get up to I-96 by about 2 a.m. and all the way up to US-10 by 7 a.m. So you can see everybody has snow for their morning commute with that east-northeast wind. Uh, as far as the noon hour goes, we're going to start to see it wind down to maybe some light freezing drizzle in the afternoon, and then it will all come to an end by the end of the commute here tomorrow evening. And skies will quickly clear, and that's when our low temperatures are going to occur, probably just before midnight, down into the teens before the high clouds come on in. And then very quiet weather right on through most of the rest of the week with one exception, and that would be on Thursday night. Very light snow. You can see our models are showing up to about an inch or two by daybreak, so it's going to rapidly develop. And by the time it's all done, there could be three plus inches in many areas uh, by the middle to latter part of the afternoon. So our forecast calling for the overnight snow to gradually change over to some freezing drizzle during the afternoon. Highs all below freezing up and down the lakeshore, 29 in Ludington, 32 down in South Haven. And up north, you'll see that snow changing to freezing a drizzle in the afternoon into the mid and upper 20s. And from Grand Rapids southward, again, some freezing drizzle on top of the accumulated snow. Highs tomorrow between 30 and at best 32. 13 on your side forecast. What does fall is going to have to be shoveled because it's going to stick around and not melt for the next several days. Maybe a passing light snow shower Thursday night into Friday morning. Didn't put it in there. It's going to be very minimal. A better chance of some overnight snow next Sunday night and Monday. Maybe enough to shovel and plow there, but the warming trend starting on Sunday where readings will be back above average into the mid 30s. So some snowy weather coming our way. It's just taking its time getting here. All right, you're going to loosen up the old shovel shoulder. Yeah, you better do that. Tonight, yeah, pull that uh, pull that snowblower. <laughs> you got it. Thank you, George.